Hey guys, this is a how-to on how to make a cheap quality foam pit for outdoors that won't get ruined in bad weather. The equipment you'll need to make this foam pit is about 4 or 5 tarpaulins, a lot of tyres and a lot of foam. Foam can be found from most places that do upholstery or make furniture. They will often give you the off cuts for free. All the foam in this photo here came from one business in one day. Your first step is to find a place to build your foam pit. What you should do is find a place with a gradual slope. This is to help with water drainage which will be explained later on in the video. Next you want to dig down into the hill to cut a section out with a flat bottom. Make sure the area you dig out is as big as you want your foam pit to be. Next lay out your tyres in a large U shape around the area. The red arrows show you the side you will be jumping into the foam from and this is how it will look from a top view. This tyre wall provides a bit of movement and flexibility which isn't so harsh if a rider happens to land on it. But if you wish to give the wall some more strength, get some wooden poles like these and dig them down into both corners of the foam pit and fill the wall with the dirt you gained from digging the pit originally. Next, lay out the tarpaulins. Make sure they cover the bottom of the pit and the excess tarps you folded up and over these tire walls. Here's how it should look from a top view. The light blue part of the picture is the part where the tire walls are. Now you can fill the pit with foam. It's a good idea to put the larger pieces of the foam at the bottom of the pit and if you have any large mattresses lay them down first. When closing the foam pit all you need to do is fold the excess tarps that are hanging over the tyres up and over the top of the foam and then place another larger tarpaulin on top. Place log wooden poles like the ones we showed earlier in the video on top of the foam pit to stop the tarps from getting blown off in the wind. Also, make sure your foam is piled up in the middle of the foam pit before you cover up the tarps. If it's piled up on the edges, water can pull up in the middle of the foam pit and then soak through the tarpaulins. If your foam pit is exposed to bad weather, the fact that it's built on the side of the hill would help a lot with the drainage. As you can see in the diagram, water just flows simply through and underneath the foam pit. If any water does happen to soak through the top tarpaulin, you just have to open up the back of the foam pit and all the water will drain out and then down the hill. That is all you need for your foam pit, except you still need to build a jump. You can either use a wooden ramp or dig into the hill in front of the foam pit and use this dirt to sculpt your jump.